Hello, and welcome back to the Garden of Grace Devotion. My name is Pastor Katie, and I'm one of the pastors at Trinity Lutheran Church in Wilburn, Georgia. Today, the question I would like to begin with is, what do you do when you find yourself on an unhelpful path? On a path that you thought was the way that you should be heading, that was going well, but then all of a sudden discover it's not. One of the ways I fairly regularly experience this is through electronic mapping devices, through GPS apps or programs. When I put in my destination and then I have a difficult time following the directions. You know, when you make a turn the GPS isn't expecting and all of a sudden it says recalculating which really means you goofball you're not doing what I'm asking you to do please turn around physically this can happen to us with the GPS applications this can also happen spiritually and emotionally as well we can find ourselves headed down paths that aren't helpful. I think it happens many different ways in life. Sometimes we can find ourselves on paths that aren't helpful with things that we think, with things that we say, with things that we do. And we may not even realize until we're a little ways down the path that it's not the best path to be on. So what do we do? What do we do when we find ourselves, when we come to realize that perhaps some of the things that we're saying or doing or thinking aren't helpful, that they're not healthy for us or others, or even helpful in general? Lent is an interesting time to reflect on these things. It's a time where we're invited to return to the Lord, to shift our paths. And last week, during a Lenten service of worship, I was given such an opportunity. I was given an opportunity to realize that I was headed down a path that was not helpful. And I was given the opportunity to shift. So last week, I was headed down not a good path when it came to singing, of all things, singing. Last Wednesday at our noon Lenten worship service, we did not have our incredible music director with us. Mr. Rick was not feeling his best, so Pastor Scott and I were entrusted with leading the hymns at the noon service. I looked them over. I was pretty sure that I knew the tunes. Sure, no problem, Mr. Rick, we've got it. Well, it came time for the closing hymn. We did well with the opening hymn. I just wanna note that. We did well. It went great. Pastor Scott and I did. It was good. But it came time for the closing hymn and I helped to lead it. I began with a tune that I thought was the way we were to go. I thought it was the tune for the song. And for the first three words, it worked. It went really, really well. The words fit the tune that I was singing. We were all singing together and it went great until we got to the fourth word. That's when I realized the tune would not work had some choices in that moment. When we got to the fourth word and I realized the tune that I thought we were singing was not gonna work with the words in front of us. I had some choices. I could have attempted to continue down the path that I was on and make a big mess, dragging all these unfortunate people with me as we attempted to sing a tune that didn't work with the words in front of us we would have made terrible music or I had the opportunity to shift 
and be redirected. In that moment, something really helpful happened and it reminded me of God and the way that God can help us to shift in our lives. We have reminders of God in the world all around us. And in that moment, Pastor Scott was a reminder of God for me. Four, when we realized that the tune we were singing was not going to work, he in that moment had the correct tune in his head and he restarted us. Not in a way that was like, oh, Pastor Katie, what are you doing? But in a way that gently went back to be the beginning of the hymn, we started over and we sang the rest very well. In a moment when I found that the, the tune I was singing did not go with the words in front of me, I was given the opportunity to shift. I was reminded of the tune that worked with the words and together we were able to sing in a pretty decent harmony. After the service, of course, we all commented on the importance of having our incredible music director and at Trinity, we are truly blessed. It was interesting though, as I reflected on this experience, I was reminded of how often we can think we are on a helpful path, yet we aren't. And I was reminded of how God is always there to help us to shift, to repent, to turn, and to seek a new path. There's a song by Rich Mullins that comes to mind as I've reflected on this experience. It's called Step by Step by Rich Mullins. The refrain to the song reads, O oh God, you are my God, and I will ever praise you. O oh God, you are my God, and I will ever praise you. I will seek you in the morning, and I will learn to walk in your ways and step by step you'll lead me and I will follow you all of my days. This hymn is connected with Isaiah chapter 30 verses 21 which reads, whether you turn to the right or to the left, your, he your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. That voice of our God is with us in different ways in the world around us, helping us to see when it's time to shift. As we journey through our days, as we find ourselves on unhelpful paths from time to time, may we remember that the Lord is with us. Sometimes the smallest moment of shift the smallest increment in, of shift in a different direction can help to set us free. Sometimes all we need to do is take the smallest step in a different way and we can find a new path. We don't have to be stuck in the paths that we are stuck in. God is there to help to free us as we journey through our days, may we remember that the Lord is with us. May we be willing to shift. May we be willing to follow the one who is there to lead us all of our days. The one who will never lead us astray. Thanks be to God who step by step leads us all of our days. Amen.